Okay, so uh, putting that tack in uh, yesterday was uh, kind of uh, spurred me to do some more stuff to this the interior of this. I uh, put the dash back together uh, today, uh, just the trim and the dash pad. Uh, I've been wanting to get the uh, console a little more together. I still got a long way to go, but uh, so I was wanting to put the ashtray in, put the clock in, and the little warning center. Uh, that shows if you got a headlight, tail light, or uh, low fuel. It's got little LEDs on it that light up and tell you, you know, what could be wrong with your car. Early version of uh, what we got now today. Air pressure in the tires and everything else. But yeah, real uh, antique way of doing that, I guess you'd say. I've been trying to kind of ignore it. And uh, finally, I decided to clean some stuff up uh, and throw it in there and figure out how it goes because I took it apart about a year ago and I wasn't really sure how it all went back together and it turned out I had to take the console out and put the clock and the message center in and then slide the whole thing back in. Um, another thing I, I was missing and comes in handy to this day is a cigarette lighter or a charging port because I don't have one whenever I go on trips with this thing. I didn't. It was in the, with the wiring for the uh, for everything else. I decided to do that too and test it. So I got it all together. Uh, I'll show you a time lapse of that now. After that, I will show you the results of uh, my work and uh, we'll test out the charging port together.
So I'll show you what I got. So here's the charging port, AKA cigarette lighter. I'm gonna test it out in a minute. Ashtray. There's a light that goes back here. I know there's a, um, a bracket that holds the light bulb. I've misplaced it, so I just threw it in there. So it'll kind of shine. There's a little window under here. It'll shine a little bit whenever the lights are turned on. Um, I had to replace the, find the bulb and replace it because the, the one that was in it was burned out. But uh, here's my clock, message center. But oh, washer fluid, tail lamps, brake lamps, and headlamps, and low fuel. What it shows, and I have low fuel, and it's definitely showing it, so I hope whenever I fill it up that low fuel light goes off. It should. I replace the sending unit, and you have to specify the one with the warning lamp. So um, I believe that's okay. That's right. We're going to turn this on. So there's the low fuel. And here's our clock that's needing set. I need like a pin or something. There's little holes in here that you gotta push for hours and minutes. But estimated time of arrival for a, where you're going. I guess it goes by minutes and hours. Uh, date, gotta set that in time. I think these things are pretty foolproof. Uh, I know that one didn't have the uh, best of treatment, and it still works. So uh, let me get a little screwdriver so we can set that. That ought to work. So let's see. Okay, so I got it figured out. Um, to get this ET started, you push it in to put it back to zero, you push it till it pops out, and then you pull on it, and that'll zero it, supposedly. So, fancy stuff here. I did read the owner's manual, as a matter of fact. Um, so there's that, got the time. Oh, well, yeah, the time. The date. Estimated time. Still got to fiddle with it, apparently. But it's pushed in, so now you push it and it comes out. You pull it. It zeroes it. Fancy, fancy stuff. So, we're going to test the cigarette lighter. This should light up whenever I plug this in. We'll see if that works. There. Okay, that means it's working. So now I have a charging port, I have a clock, and I have a estimated time. So uh, I'm pretty happy. I've got this solid, so pretty happy with all this. I do have a little bit of light in my cigarette, or my ashtray. The bulb needs to sit in and shine through. All right, so that's that. Um, Every little thing I do to it makes it a little more livable going on trips. And now I can charge my phone. The clock isn't really a big thing, but it's nice to have functioning. Same thing with the date. It's cool to have it work, especially in such an old car. Just the little things, you know, they add up to something big eventually. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Also, I'm looking for rescue candidates in uh, southern to central Illinois and St. Louis area. So if you have a lead on an old car that uh, might need a little attention, I could, you know, that's been in a barn... I could fix on and send me your information. You can email me at mikeslinkard at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.